Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Bill lobs an accusation at Lee, and Steffi's confrontation with Luna turns sinisterly. Steffi's jaw drops at Bill's house upon seeing Luna kiss her intended father. Brooke tells Ridge at Forrester that she found it somewhat surprising to find Taylor in the office. Ridge notes she is returning to resume her profession. Brooke believes Steffi will be content, but the time was poor. Ridge said her daughter crossed the line. This is a big deal. Brooke knows why he would be offended. She will handle hope and is also worried. Thank you, Ridge. At least Finn and Steffi are in good shape. Brooke groans, and so are we. RJ abruptly shows in and says, Bill isn't Luna's father after all. Ridge inquired about the paternity test. RJ says someone changed the outcomes. When Katie walks in, RJ asks whether she is aware of the paternity testing. Brooke says Bill followed her counsel. According to RJ, Bill underwent two more paternity tests and returned with the same results. Bill is not the father of Luna. Steffi listens terrified at Bill's house as Bill tells Luna. Luna, I warned you you can't kiss me like that. It cannot happen again even though I am not your father. Luna admits she's never encountered a man like him before. Ever since the day we met like you were this missing piece, said the other. Luna looks at the mirror and sees Steffi listening in the front entryway. Bill promises to help Luna as her heart beats. She gets herself together, turns around to thank him. I ought to get started most likely. She is told by Bill not necessary. Luna has some administrative tasks to complete. Steffi retreats out of sight, then Luna leaves. Steffi follows her out without Bill knowing, but she leaves the cell phone she came back to get on the side table right inside the door. Katie tells Bill she will get in touch at the main office. According to RJ, only Luna and Bill know other than them. Katie walks through her poppy piece assembly technique. Clearly, this was all part of a strategy meant to bring Bill's riches. Brooke wonders where that leaves Luna. RJ only knows right now that she is really vulnerable. More, Grammy-nominated artist scheduled guest star. Bill praises Lee for showing up at his apartment. She queries Luna. She's good, Bill continues, but she's not my daughter. Lee queries perplexed. Bill says he chose to retest after Poppy's arrest, and the results came out negative. His backup test came out negative on that one as well. He probes Lee about whether she changed the outcome of the original paternity test. Lee denies it. She would never engage in such unethical behavior. She and her sister have not been close. Why would I help her? asks she. She would be pleased to prove it with a polygraph test. Bill says, I believe you. Sai someone falsified that test, do you think it was Poppy? Lee is unsure, but one thing she is certain of. Poppy is a gold digger, but murder? Not at all. Someone arranged it. Luna laments herself for being so careless as she lets herself into her former apartment. Steffi may have seen me kiss Bill. Steffi shows up at just that. Luna Thames, Steffi. Here what are you doing? Steffi squints. I know what you're up to Luna. Brooke, Katie Ridge and RJ at the main office find it shocking Poppy was more hazardous than they had assumed. Katie's only happy the killer is behind bars. RJ finds that to be somewhat strange Poppy never gave him the feeling of material object importance. For Luna, who she used to control, they all feel sorry. RJ regrets she truly came to love Bill. Luna tells Steffi in her apartment that the arrest of her mother has been difficult. She learned Bill's not really her father, as if that wasn't terrible enough. Is that why you kissed him, Steffi wonders? That was not a pleasant, innocent kiss. She needs to look inside and realize this is wrong even though she knows this is a trying period. Saying, it's really hot out there. Luna pours her a drink. She tells Steffi she finds what transpired embarrassing. I understand it was quite inappropriate of me to kiss Bill. She continues on about the events in her life and their frequency. Steffi asks whether she is trying to defend her actions as she takes her drink. Luna says not too much but Bill is a quite beautiful man. Maybe it was just a transference of emotions. Steffi queries what about her mother and RJ replies, That's your lover. Who are you, Luna? She once again sips her drink. Rich tells RJ in the main office he has every right to be worried about Luna. He only wants to support her. Though these are strange circumstances, Katie believes none of this is Luna's fault. 
RJ reports his girlfriend is spending a lot of time at his house and is staying with Bill. Lee is asked by Bill at his residence why someone would set up Poppy. What would they have to gain? More Steffi going toward big problems. Luna drinks at the flat, and Steffi does the same. Especially when Luna knew they were not father and daughter. Luna wanders about terrified out Steffi must have seen her kiss Bill. Both of them have lost a lot and are the only ones who know what it is like. Maybe this explains why I kissed him. Steffi notes she is referencing the man her mother was seeing. Luna claims right now her emotions are erratic, especially given her mother might be in charge of the deaths at I.L. Giardino. Steffi assures Luna this is not her. What happened to the young woman dating her brother RJ who worked at Forrester? You were living at the Spencer estate now, having lived with him at the beach home. Huh. Quite the search. More. Luna aimed for Zend. Luna wonders what she is implying. Steffi claims her mother had an affair with Tom Starr, who insisted he was her father, and that man is dead now. Luna claims her mother loves Bill, and the life they have been living. Her mother claimed to do anything for her. Steffi nods. Hey. Indeed, Poppy had so much to lose should Tom Starr be your father. You have quite a lot to lose as well. She muses and sips her drink. Look at the life you now live. The set of your future is known. You live in Bill Spencer's mansion. Everything is great. Oh my god, it all is beginning to make sense. You kissed Bill for this reason. You want him just to yourself. That's you then? Money, power, even if it involves murder, the kind of person who will do all it takes to acquire what you want. Steffi understands. I am correct. You executed it. You wiped out Hollis and Tom. Luna lets forth a soft smile. Steffi battles to concentrate on Luna's face and starts to grow fuzzy-headed and wobbly. She looks at the almost empty glass in her hand and it breaks on the floor. Luna stands over Steffi as she collapses. Luna targets Steffi. Finn's wife in danger. The bold and the beautiful spoilers expose that Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, has crashed and burned in any love regard with Bill Spencer, Don Diamant. Luna has a lot going on though, and it appears that John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, wife will find herself entangled in her web. Will Luna pursue Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, to act between her and her future intentions? Will Steffi be in great risk as Luna advances to her next victim? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Luna Nozawa not afraid to kill. Luna has made it clear from the bold and the beautiful spoilers that she understands just how to clear someone from her path, so she may obtain what she wants. Sadly, Steffi might be her next victim, and Hope Logan Annika Noel is the ideal fall victim. After all, anyone is fair game if Luna could toss her mother under the bus. Spoilers say Steffi will spy something and wish she had been left in the dark. Given all Luna is now experiencing this makes perfect sense. Will Steffi encounter Luna accompanied by some sort of evidence suggesting her guilt in these killings? Could Steffi overhear Luna mentioning framing her mother? B&B spoilers. Luna Nozawa has made careful notes so far. If Luna is the killer she has been quite cautious thus far. Steffi could undoubtedly see Luna acting suspiciously, though that would affect her appearance. Steffi might come across a list or something Luna left behind pointing to her guilt. Is Luna also about to step out and perform for her cousin Finn? Family means nothing to Luna or she wouldn't have kissed Bill. Bill is plenty ancient enough to be her father, after all. Luna might, however, need someone to cover for her if she has to shut Steffi down, which could cause more injuries. Would Luna frame the other sister of RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, after taking out one? Can John Finnegan make it on time? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Finn might come to learn that his young cousin is hiding a lot of secrets and is engaged in some unsettling behavior. Will Finn be the one to see Luna as a killer and must save Steffi before it is too late? Should Finn fail to reach his wife on time what fate awaits? Might Steffi die during the destruction of Luna's apartment building? Luna could conceal all of the evidence in the building slated for destruction and a live person as well. Has Luna arranged the means of eradicating Steffi, who knows too much and everything else that will bind her to these crimes all at the demolition site? Can Finn save Steffi and locate the proof to send Luna off as well? The new Steffi problem. Katie got it all wrong about Poppy Luna. Spoilers for Friday, August 23rd, The Bold and the Beautiful B&B, show Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood. Reeling now that she has seen Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, 
kissing Bill Spencer Don Diamant, after showering him compliments. Steffi might quickly realize it's not the first time. She seemed absolutely disgusted about Luna straying that line with Bill. Luna may claim she feels a connection to Bill that cannot be denied, even if Bill will most likely remind her, he already told her cannot happen again. Luna might discover she has an issue though if Steffi sounds a warning or acts to let Bill and Luna know she exists. Steffi might then wait until Luna is alone and threaten to inform RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, his girlfriend is after another man. Regarding her siblings, Steffi is protective. Not to add she is sensitive to people kissing people they are not meant to be kissing following what happened with Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Luna might be chasing the big money by courting millionaire Bill, but that does not mean she is ready to part from her rich lover just yet. If Luna is the gold digger she looks to be, RJ is still an excellent backup beau. Steffi might even start suspicion Luna framed Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, to clear the path. If Luna fears she will start sharing her ideas with the police, Steffi might set up some terror. Will Luna finally strike Steffi to quiet her? Could Steffi be knocked out and then wake up under control in Poppy's old apartment? Still, something has to be brewing since Steffi advised Finn not to get in touch with her, and she has been telling others she is leaving town.
If Luna chooses to hold Steffi captive for a little, that could work out just great. B&B spoilers claim Katie Logan, Heather Tom, will be certain that the real offender behind bars for the killings of Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Paul Hollis Hollisters, Hollis W. Chambers. Katie will believe she was justified in her mistrust of Poppy and hope Bill will recover from all her lying finally. But our forecast suggests that Luna's own lies will make matters even worse, particularly if she is behind what happened to Tom and Hollis instead. Luna will trigger some further shocks, according to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, hence we will provide updates on all the amazing news ahead. With one kiss Hope Logan kills two marriages. No pair is safe. The bold and the beautiful spoilers highlight the ramifications from Hope Logan, Annika Noel, kissing Dr. John Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. After moving on Steffi Forrester's, Jacqueline McInnes would, husband, Hope is pleading the fifth and saying she needs help. But will that be sufficient to preserve two marriages on Bold and Beautiful? Keep on reading to learn. Here's what BNB has in store next spoilers ahead. Is Shin in trouble? The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers. On the Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi Forrester and Dr. Finn's marriage has been under fire for some time now. Since Finn unintentionally attended Sheila Carter's, Kimberlyn Brown wedding, he has been treading on eggshells. His new bond with his stepsister Hope Logan only serves to make things worse. Hope Logan kills two marriages with one kiss, the bold and the beautiful. His wife might not view it that way even if Honest Abe was clean to Steffi about what Hope did at the party. BMB teasers suggest Steffi will struggle to come to terms with what happened between her enemy and husband. Should it be any other woman, things would be rather different. Steffi will also wonder how truthful Finn is actually being since none of this would have happened if he hadn't been spending so much time with another lady. Finn's allegiance has been a challenge for Sheila in the past. Steffi could be done allowing it to lapse. Hope Logan's kiss will spark mayhem for another happy couple on bold and beautiful simultaneously across town. Regarding what her daughter did, Brooke Logan, Katha Kelly Lang, will have to answer to her enraged husband. When Rich finds Brooke already at BNC spoilers Brooke Logan's in trouble and Taylor Hayes is back. Rebecca Budig, Taylor Hayes, recently unexpectedly returned to Bold and the Beautiful in the Worst of Times. Taylor will be fast to blame the Logan women for Steffi's problem, and demand to know why Ridge let this happen to his daughter's marriage. Brooke might not be able to survive her marriage while Taylor is in Los Angeles. Are Finn and Steffi over for actual visit this time? Will Ridge and Taylor see each other again and leave Brooke cold-wise? Comment below what you think. Keep visiting this page for other bold and the beautiful spoilers, news, and updates.